On-call scheduling in Service Operations Workspace is an IT service management feature, which helps you ensure that your team always has the right expertise available to address issues as they arise. It automates incident assignment through robust duty rosters, streamlining resource management, and connecting incident managers with the right on-call support. On-call scheduling is available with activation of the ServiceNow AI platform on-call scheduling plugin. Within Service Operations Workspace, depending on your role, you can access on-call scheduling through the Schedules or Teams icons located in the Navigation pane. Agents can also access on-call scheduling from the On-Call Experts icon on the sidebar of an incident or other Service Operations Workspace, or SOW record. This tells you who is the on-call agent associated with the CI, that is, configuration item, or incident, and which team members are available. Let's see how our shift manager and agent interact and handle their on-call work through on-call scheduling in SOW. We start with our shift manager, Adele, who's viewing the schedule's overview page, where she can easily toggle between different on-call teams to view and manage their shift details. Currently, there are no shifts or rosters. She creates shifts by specifying the start and end dates and times, as well as the repeat duration for each. For example, here's a new shift shown daily for the month of August. Then she staffs each shift with team members, generating a rotating roster for primary and secondary coverage. Now let's take a look from the agent's perspective. Here we're logged in as Alex, an on-call agent. In the On-Call Notification Preferences tab, he can define how he wants to be notified when a ticket is escalated to him. He manages his notification rules based on the day and time. For example, he might prefer Microsoft Teams or email during weekdays and phone calls on weekends. He can edit the rules and create new ones and select his own delivery channels. On the On-Call Schedules tab, Alex can view schedules, request absences, and propose a teammate to cover for him. After he submits the request, it shows up as a pending absence on the schedule, and his manager is notified that an action is required. Adele accesses her required actions to review and then reject or approve Alex's absence request. After she approves, his absence is reflected in the shift schedule along with an entry for Adam, the teammate who will cover for him. The on-call scheduling system offers several advanced features. As a shift manager, you can access all your teams from one place. Just select one of your teams and view or change its information on the Details tab, or manage its schedules, shifts, and rotations on the Schedule tab. It's easy to resolve gaps and conflicts by providing coverage. On-call team preferences is where you set team, group, level preferences, like configuring shift managers for a group handling PTO requests with or without approval, allowing overlapping shifts, and what escalation rule to apply on shift overlap. Here's the Team Members tab, where you can add or remove members. And on the Related Records tab, view or interact with alerts, incidents, and other records assigned to the team. The Escalation Triggers and Policies tab is where you automate contacting on-call personnel based on specific conditions and trigger actions like workflows. Escalation policies can include multiple steps like notifying executive leadership or escalating to secondary personnel if needed. And finally, for critical situations, you can override agents' notification preferences. Use on-call scheduling in Service Operations Workspace to help streamline incident response and improve team coordination for your organization. To learn more, see our product documentation or knowledge base, or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.